What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few tricks on how to take larger screenshots um, on Windows larger than your screen size. So essentially, if I take a screenshot of a website um, on a 1080p screen, and I wanna show the whole site and I have to zoom it out, um, it's only gonna take it as a 1080p screenshot. But if we wanna take larger ones, we can actually do that by tricking the computer into thinking it's a larger display. Before we get started, I wanna remind you guys to hit that sub button because if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed. 99% of you are not subscribed. And if you got that MISCIF reference, you should probably sub because I don't know, I watch MISCIF, you watch MISCIF. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into the video itself. Um, let's open up a web page and let's say I want to take a screenshot of this page, um, but I want to get everything in the page, like all of that. Um, if I hit print screen or even use the snipping tool, we're going to have a 1080p screenshot of this page. And you might say, great, that's exactly what I want, right? But if we zoom in, we can actually see, oops, we can actually see that everything is really blurry and not actually very readable. So it doesn't help to have a screenshot of the website that we can't read. Um, this goes for images or anything else. If we want a high resolution screenshot, we need a high resolution uh, display to show it on. Uh, so how can we get a larger display? Uh, the obvious reason i mean the obvious way is to actually use a 4k display um or ideally even bigger maybe even an 8k display but that's not always um feasible uh luckily i'm on a 1080p display but you can see here that i have 4k available um and that is a very interesting feature uh you may or may not have it but i'm going to show you um where to find it so i'm on an amd gpu and it's a feature called super resolution. So if I go to home, uh, let's find our display. Let's see, I think it's in settings. All right, display. And you can see that we have virtual super resolution. And if we click on this display here and enable that, then we now have it allowed. So let me go ahead and change that um, resolution to, uh, 4K, we can see that um, it got bigger in the video too. Let me go ahead and fit that to the screen, great. All right, so now I'm in 4K. If I go back to this website, it still looks the same, but if I use this snipping tool and take a screenshot of the page and then zoom in like we did before, it's actually a lot easier to read and a lot higher resolution than um, it was before because now we're taking a screenshot at four times the size of 1080p. Um, so you might say, what if we don't have that feature in our graphics card? Uh, let's go ahead and switch this back to 1080p and I'll show you another method we can use. Let's go ahead and change this to 1080p. Actually, I could show you like this as well. Um, we can use the other displays as extended um, uh, area to take a screenshot in. So if we hit print screen right now and then go into Photoshop, and I'm just going into Photoshop to kind of demonstrate the image that's created because I have three screens, so it's gonna look a little bit different. So let's go ahead and go to new technology, am I right? So we're gonna go ahead and click on this one, create and paste. So you can see that when I take a screenshot, it has my left screen, my right screen, and my simulated 4K screen. Um, we can actually make this more uniform by arranging the monitors in our display settings like this, so they're all connected. Let's go ahead and apply that. And now let's go and take another screenshot. Um, yeah, let's take this screenshot. All right. Inside Photoshop, I'm gonna open a new image and see what it looks like now. 
and paste. And you can see that now it's a square image with the bottom display and the two other displays on top. All right, so one thing that'll help you is to turn off window snapping. That way you can actually adjust the frame wherever you want. And then we're going to drag this window to the top left of the screen. And then we're going to drag this down to the full size. And then we'll hit print screen and see what that looks like. Now we go into Photoshop, we can paste, and we can see that now we have the entire size of this massive canvas as our page. And we can zoom right on in and see all of the detail within it, including the images and all that good stuff. So it's a really high resolution screenshot that would normally be very hard to read. Um, but yeah, those are a few tricks and, and tips on how to kind of trick windows into giving you a larger size canvas to take screenshots on. Uh, but yeah, hope you like this video. And if you want more like this, click on that sub button below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too. And it's called Stream Savers. And it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.